I want to talk about pattern interrupts and this is in the context of this ongoing series on my video blog about how to harness imagination, the infinite imagination of who you really are in a way that creates sustainable change for what? Change for what? Like a new car? I don't think so. I mean I've had many new cars. For joy. Um, for delight, for wonder, for flow, for ease, for awe. You know, those good, those good things that make life worth living. So I'm at my swimming pool, and I, the reason we're here today is it's freezing cold. I'm gonna show you my pool, and oh, by the way, there's my lovely roses. Oh my God, can roses really be any more like, lush, like lush? Anyway, <laughs> and pool toys, etc. So here's the deal. This is a freaking cold pool. It's icy cold because the heater's broken. And even though the days in Vancouver right now are going up to like 22 degrees Celsius, I think that's probably 75, 80 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever, it's not warm at night. So the water is actually getting quite icy. And so at night it's going down to like 10 degrees Celsius. I think that might be 50 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, the pool's really cold. It's like an icy, cold glacial stream. And I went for a swim in it today. Believe it or not, well, a swim is a bit of an exception. I mean, whatever, a bit of exaggeration. I jumped in and out screaming <laughs> like crazy. Now, I'm one of those people who can't take a cold shower, despite the fact I know it's so good for me. So, you know, take the cold shower, reset your, you know, inner thermometer and all the good things that they say about it. So, uh, jumping in a pool is a little different because by the time you're in, you, you know, you have to swim back out and you've done the de dirty deed. Now, here's the deal. Pattern interrupts are one way that you can actually engage your infinite imagination. It sounds like a weird thing. And what is a pattern interrupt? I guess I need to define that. It's when you do something completely different from the ordinary expected rote way you're living your life. So in sales calls, pattern interrupts are like, you know, where you do something completely different on a sales call that disarms or even writing copy, you know, when you write copy for online sales, a pattern interrupt is a bit of copy that completely takes someone by surprise, like maybe an admission halfway through your sales pitch that, you know, you're like a jerk or something. Or like, here's an example for a cold call sales call. Um, if you were to start your cold call sales call with, hey, I probably got you at a really bad time, you would totally disarm the person on the other end who's expecting a sales call, because it probably looks like a telemarketer's number, and it's getting ready to hang up, and suddenly there's a human being on the other end apologizing already. So that's what we mean by a pattern interrupt. I want to say that you can create pattern interrupts in your life in many ways. And they're the equivalent of when we say we're going to sacrifice something to get something else. But a sacrifice is when you give something up. A pattern interrupt is when you add something different. So here's me in my pattern interrupt experiment. I am going to for 21 days, oh my God, jump into that icy cold pool and try to swim. And I'm doing that as a pattern interrupt. Right now, Jupiter just went direct. Oh, a bird flew overhead. It just went direct after being um, in retrograde forever, which is kind of kind of a cool day to try something really new. And I'm offering you the opportunity to try something new as well. It doesn't have to be 21 days of jumping into an icy cold pool. But how about finding something in your life that you can do completely different and contrary, completely contrary to something you would expect? Because this pattern interrupt interrupts the conscious mind. You can call it the ego, you can call it just the mind, you can call it the intellect, you can call it the established personality, call it what you like. It, it will be an interrupt to the way of being of that aspect of self that in essence obstructs or obscures the flow and the magic and the wonder of who you really are, of what you really are. So. Wish me luck. I'll report back next video blog. Hopefully it'll be sooner than a week. I'm always behind these days. And I'll let you know, how did a pattern interrupt swimming pool? Um, mission impossible. Go. Did she survive the icy cold water 21 days in a row? I'm going to count today as my first day because I did it. <laughs> 20 more days to go. Um, I'm filming this in the merry month of May. You may be watching it any other time because um, this video blog is an autoresponder sequence. So, but whenever you watch it, just know that I'm offering the grand opportunity to find something very different in your own life to do. Um, for a set period of time, 10 days, five days, four days, three days, doesn't really matter. The point is commit to interrupting the pattern of your life with something entirely new and I think ideally a little uncomfortable.
you know, a little uncomfortable. Um, you, know, you tell your like crazy ass teenager you love her every single day, despite the fact she's a real <laughs> hellion. That's one I could try as well. Okay, guys, thank you for listening. Um, I'll see you next week at the Awakened Dreamer. And I would jump into the pool right now, but I already did it. <laughs> Maybe I'll video me doing it next time and you can like laugh at how cold it is and how shrieky I sound. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. <laughs>